Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about and comparing the differences between the, what they called Project 1-7, which is the strike uh, second generation uh, versus the third generation pure strike. Now, both of these are 1619, okay? Now, let me give you a quick little history of this racket. In generation one, if you remember that racket, it was black with red. Picture here, right? If you guys remember that racket, that was total garbage, right? Both the 1820, excuse me, there were three to that line, I believe. Um, I, don't know. I just know there were two rackets. One was a 1619, uh, and another was either a tour or an 1820. Uh, but that was a distant memory to me because those rackets were so bad. I literally couldn't give those away. Every time I handed it out to somebody, they're like, this thing just feels weird. This thing just feels weird. Um, they had those grooves in the, uh, in the three and nine uh that i i did not understand they they said it gave the racket uh flex right hold on one second hold on one second the grooves were like these the grooves were like these it was like an indentation uh in like this area if you remember that and the whole racket was black with kind of a reddish neon writing on it um but i thought this was cool right until i played with it i was like this thing just doesn't feel right the flex was in the wrong place uh, i don't know racket was garbage i knew maybe three people that loved it and they they still love it um between the two the heavier tour was probably the better one but i, I don't know it, the racket just wasn't good then came these right um and i said oh no hopefully you reformulated that racket all right and the prototypes came out looking just like this it was white with this kind of an orangish neon here and it would actually say project one seven uh, project one seven right so that was the name of the racket before they made it into a strike. That's why they called it that. Uh, so there was a bunch of those floating around for testers to uh, try and to give their opinions on. Uh, they were only in 1619s that went out to people. And we all loved it. Like everybody who tried it loved it, right? And we all, like the testers, said are you keeping that color which is this color like the white with the neon and the gray and they said that hasn't been determined um it's probably going to be black and red again right and we're like no keep it white you know the white stands out on a racket full of you know a racket full of kind of darker colors right so um they decided to just use this as final cosmetic. And that's how we wound up with a white racket, a white strike, you know? So, so that's a little bit of the history behind this racket. So today we're gonna compare it to Gen 3. All right, at the balance board. Three, 29, 329 millimeters is where it balances out at. 334 millimeters, it's hit the scale. At the scale, with our star of the show today.
326.5. Strike swing weight. Three thirty seven. Three twelve. Oh, that's clocking in a little on the light side. Three eighteen on the swing weight. Let's analyze this. All right, so what did we learn between Strike Gen 2 and newest Strike Gen 3? Um, so the beams are the same. They're a tapered beam, 21, 23 millimeters, excuse me, 21, yeah, 21 millimeters, 23 and 21 on both. So that doesn't change much. Dampening property, um, in this one, uh, the Cortex rubber, as I said in a previous video when I was uh, comparing it to a blade. Um, so the weight of the new one and the balance of the new one, swing weight of the new one is heavier. Um, this particular Gen 2 might be off a bit because these numbers look a little on the low side to me. Um, 312 on the weight is definitely low. 318 on the swing weight is definitely low. The balance is almost there. So I'm not sure what happened to these two. Uh, like I said, it might be just a quality control issue with this frame. Um, the RAs are, you know, essentially the same, you know, one point here and there. So what it looks like that you're gaining with the new one is a little more head weight if you're looking at these two um i mean just from personally hitting with these i do feel that there is more weight and more plow in that gen 3 i do like the feel of this one more um because uh you know it doesn't have that cortex dampening deal uh, thing in it so but i mean but let me know i mean that strike gen 3's been out how long has it been out now since august of last year so eight months um let me know how you guys feel about it do you like gen 3 better or do you like the old project 17 uh pure strike uh let me know in the comments all right thanks for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis